What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Now it is not too many days after Christmas and it is not too many days before 2023. So I figured what a better video to do right now than the best, best of, of 2022. So I'm going to break down the best of this past year's whole launches, show them to you guys up close, do a few swatches, let you know why I like them, why they're the best, and I will link them all down below just so you know. Before we go in, the best 2023 gift of all time would be if you could subscribe, hit the like button if you liked it, and of course that notification bell so you know the next time I upload a new video, which should be a new release product. Okay, I'm gonna shut up and actually get into the stuff that you want to see. So let's go. Some of this you guys have heard like a thousand times, so I'm picking up your sarcasm. Well, I should hope so because I'm laying it on pretty thick. But it's not going to be like a big shocker or surprise. But I'm going to start this whole thing off with primers. We're going to work our way through the whole face and we're going to start with the base layer, which is primer. Up first is this little puppy by Refi. This is the Glow and Sculpt Refi Primer. I really like this product a lot. There's something in here that is just like truly magical. I don't know what it is or why, but when you roll this across your face, not only is it like a nice bit of a stress relief, but it leaves your skin looking really, really dewy and glowy and it kind of fills in the pores. Also, it's a little bit of a grip to it to grab onto the foundation afterwards. It's something that actually just really blew me away. I didn't think it was going to be as good as it was just because the consistency is so thin. I didn't think it was going to be able to make my face look as blurred and smooth as it actually does, but this guy is amazing. And so is this one. Goes without saying, uh, Iconic London just really knocked it out of the park with these two products that came together, but right now I'm just gonna mention the first one. Um, and that's the Iconic London Underglow Blurring Primer. Still use this all the time. I love it so much. It comes in a little dropper and there's something about this that just really makes your skin actually look blurred but also glow at the same time. It's an extremely, extremely thin consistency as you can see. Um, and I think, yes, I mentioned in the past to me this smells like Barbie dolls but very specifically like cabbage patch and I don't know if I got a bad batch uh, but other people in their videos have said that this smells like roses. So I don't know if I'm using an out of date product or my nose is something funky, but it smells like Cabbage Patch Dolls to me. Uh, if it smelled like roses, I would love it. I use it so much and I love it. It is hands down one of my favorite finds in all of 2022 Iconic London stuff. Moving right along into foundations. Now there were quite a few foundation releases. When I say quite a few, I mean like it was inundated. But I'm such a sucker for foundation and concealer. So the most recent one in my collection, however, is the Haas Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. Super, super foundation. A lot of people have hyped this up like so much to the point where I was like, I, I just didn't even buy it. But once I finally got there, I still use this all the time. Now, however, I am somebody who mixes every single foundation that I have. So I do not use something solo like literally ever unless I'm in the biggest rush of all time. So this one I actually mix with other stuff and I mix it to get a satin like dewy finish because this is exactly what it gives you. A satin like dewy finish in my opinion. This looks so so beautiful across the skin. Um, I think it's worth the hype truly. If you're in the market for a foundation I would definitely go in store and test it out because there's a plethora. F A. What is a plethora? Foundation shades in this, like a lot. So, um, really great foundation to choose. Next up would be this YSL All Hours Foundation. Again, I have a whole other video on this. Amazing. Now, All Hours is not some brand new spanking idea within the YSL uh, cosmetic company, but they did a reformulation on this and I find it to be divine. I just love it. It has a 24 hour full coverage weightless feel. It says luminous matte um, foundation coverage. I would say it is a slight bit of luminosity but I wouldn't say matte. I would say more like a natural finish, but it's definitely a medium to full coverage baby and I love that about it. So this is just like an absolutely beautiful foundation. I do mix this um, with other things as well, but I mean, every time I 
I wear this, I actually feel like I'm having a great makeup day. So there's something about this. This is just magical. I don't know if I'm the only one talking about it or not, but I love this. This is in my top five foundations. I wear this weekly, all the time. Love, love, love. Of course, I would be remiss if I didn't mention this because I wear this every single day, literally. When I mix my foundations, this one goes in every single time and I'm almost out because I love it so, so much. So like I mentioned before, Iconic London and their blurring um, launch, I would say, because this and that primer came out at the same time and together, these are amazing. If you use the primer first and then you go in with the blurring tint, mwah, chef's kiss. I don't know how to describe it. It's a it's a super smoother blurring skin tint, they're saying, but it has quite a bit of opacity to it. So it's not like just some watered down version, like you're actually going to get coverage with it. And then it, it actually kind of dries down. It doesn't stay matte. It's not natural. Let's say it's more of like a satin finish, but it really does have a smoothing quality. So if you're pairing that with the blur primer and the smoothing tint, it's just like airbrush across your skin. So, so beautiful. Highly, highly recommend. Definitely top five for sure. I love, love, love it. Also have a video on this as well. And last, but certainly not least, is something that could also not be a foundation. In fact, it has the name concealer inside of it. But this is the Milk Future Fluid All Over cream concealer and I have it in two different shades I have a shade that I would use just as like a concealer underneath the eyes that's a little bit brighter and then I have a shade that I use all across the face which is 10 W or 10 warm and this is amazing this has the ability to like smooth your skin I also have a video on this, but it smooths your skin, makes it so just like effortless, lots of opacity, just a gorgeous, gorgeous finish overall. I actually really like the coverage on this as well because it is like a concealer. Just a little bit of dots across the face and then go over with like a brush and it looks stunning. It's absolutely gorgeous all over the skin. Like I mentioned before, I am like obsessed with foundation and concealer. So narrowing all of the stuff that came out in 2020 22 was intense but I managed to get the concealers down to these three puppies now one of them I'm gonna give a nice little mention to because I just made a video about it and I haven't had it for terribly long but I absolutely adore it and that is the make skin mimetic concealer there's something about this that is just insane like if you're looking for a hydrated dewy looking I don't know, full of life type under eye concealer, this is the one for you. It is super watery, super thin, but also very opaque and it does not dry out your under eyes in any capacity, which I absolutely love about it. Like it says, skin mimetic, it really does sink into your skin, especially with your finger, so well. It looks like your skin, so beautiful on the skin. Absolutely love it. Um, this was a great launch. Sephora Best Skin Ever Full Coverage Multi-Use Concealer. So of course they already have the foundation that came out. Um, and this is just phenomenal on so many levels. I also have a video out about this and I still use it all the time. You get a ton of product. You get a very high coverage, but very thin, flexible coverage concealer in a pretty large um, quantity. I mean, the amount that's in here is pretty good. It's super blendable, very creamy, doesn't dry out your under eyes, super opaque, and is one of the most affordable concealers like ever. That's really good. Like this is so good and it is so affordable and there's like a ton of shades. Again, a plethora of shades. Okay, plethora. That's my word. I am so tempted to go and get uh, like an all over face shade as well because it's a multi-use concealer, kind of like that future fluid one, but I really do like this one under the eye. So I might try like an all over face shade as well just to see how that looks because it is so smoothing and beautiful. And speaking of smoothing, I also had another video out about these ones. This is the Born This Way Ethereal Light Illuminating Smoothing Concealer, like the longest name of all freaking time, but oh, this is beautiful. The applicator makes it so that not a whole lot of product comes out of it when you do it. There are certain things that I don't like about that uh, when you get a product and you're pulling it out and there's like gobs of it on and you have to like scrape it off and it becomes dirty and then you lose actual quality product. Product. This actually comes out with just a very tiny amount on so you can sort of adjust the amount of coverage or what you know However much you want to use um, I have two different shades. I use one as more of like a spot treatment for my actual um, Skin tone and then I use vanilla wafer 
as my under eye sort of like highlighting area. I actually do have this one on today and it is just very brightening, very smoothing. It's so very thin, but also has a little bit of opacity, a little bit of radiance to it, but for me, the number one concern is smoothing, especially underneath the eye. Like, I ain't young anymore, so I kind of need that smoothing quality underneath these babies. I need help! And this really does the trick for me. I absolutely love this concealer. It's something I don't hear people talk about too much, and I, I really enjoy this. I think this is great. It might be a repackage from something they kind of already had, but don't care. I still don't care. I actually really, really like this. Okay, powders. Now, powder is the largest challenge I have for this dry skin situation I have going on here. So powder is always something I am willing to pick up, try, and buy. I have a million different powders because I'm always on the hunt for the next best thing. And one of the best things i found so far has been this Hulse Labs Bio Blurring Loose Powder. I really didn't have high hopes for this at all. I have a million, million loose powders in my collection, so I thought this is just gonna be like everything else, nothing different about it, but oh my gosh, when I say that this is blurring, it is blurring. I literally put it underneath my eyes every single day since purchasing this. I've never used anything else since I bought this. I'm too scared. I'm too scared to not have a great under eye area. <laughs> and this does it. It literally looks like you're just pressing a filter across your face. Now, it looks a little bit different all over, but for the underneath the eye areas, I just use one of these little concentrated sponges. I just dip it in this little netted area here and then go in and very lightly just sort of add it to like these areas here to like just keep it really nice and fresh and blurring looking and smooth because I gotta, I mean, I really gotta smooth that area out. It's, it's looking rough, man. I happen to have the shade Neutral Peach. There are a couple other different shades, but for me, the under eye area, this works great. Um, I have used this all over the face many times. It still is quite beautiful. I prefer something a little bit different across the whole skin, but in general, I could use this absolutely phenomenal product. Amazing. Uh, an affordable option, which I know I don't really do too much on this channel and I probably need to change that, is the Physician's Formula Better Believe It Face Powder, which I have used in several videos, so I've linked it many times before. Of course, I'm gonna link it again, but um, this, smells like all the other Butter Believe It stuff is absolutely insane. If you wanna feel like you're on a vacation, this is what you just wanna, oh, just open it up and smell it. It just instantly brightens your mood. I'm not even kidding, it smells so freaking good. It's unreal. I just want to eat it. Um, I have the shade Creamy Natural and there are a couple other shades. Sometimes this is a really hard product to find in your drugstore, but I love, love, love it. There are times where I've just used like this top part to do my under eye area, and then I'll try to concentrate my brush over here for uh, all over the face, or sometimes I just swirl the whole thing around for all over the face. But this has the ability to really make your skin just look like butter, like so smooth and creamy. Like that's the best way to describe this powder, creamy. It does not lay like a powder. It lays almost like a wet foundation. It's insane and absolutely beautiful and affordable. Smells amazing. It's a win-win all the way around. Absolutely great product. Okay, finally, you guys have seen me use this in like a thousand videos since I bought it, but this is insanity. If you're looking for any kind of powders, again, I've mentioned this a thousand times, but Hourglass is really where you wanna go for powders. They have amazing, amazing powders. But this palette in particular is just unreal. Like something about this palette just does it for me every time. Um, and I know a lot of you guys have probably already seen it, but the, it's the Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Palette. I have the Butterfly one. Um, there are other ones I've considered getting, but I didn't. Um, I use this for a plethora of things. Is that the word for 2023? So, um, Really, there's just no way to lose here. I mean, there is a really beautiful ethereal highlight right here in the middle. Um, this one has like a, a highlight mixed in with a blush right here. This is just a very nice, thin, lightweight blush right here. I use this underneath my eye, I use this underneath my eye. They're very thin, very thin powders. See that? So nothing's gonna be heavy and cakey across your skin. This is a very concentrated highlight. I mean, in terms of the powders, 
this is just everything. This is such a great palette, especially if you're traveling and you need something quick. Um, you can use the blush, you can use an under eye setting powder, and then you have your highlight all in one. Um, I actually have the highlight on right now, and it's not this super concentrated highlight. It's this really light weight, like ethereal one, and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's one of the favorite highlights that I own, and I just think it's simply stunning. A staple, essential, it's so beautiful. It's worth every penny I paid for it, and I I think um, 2020 was so good to me because of this. Okay, bronzer. This one is extremely important to me. I'm obsessed with buying and trying to find the perfect foundation and concealer, like I said, but I am even more obsessed with bronzer because I just love it. Not because I'm always trying to find the perfect one, but because I love bronzer. Like here's a small sampling of all of my bronzers. Just. Just a bit of bronzers, like a lot of bronzers, and I have more over here. Like, I love bronzers. So when I give you these two bronzers that came out of this entire year, you better believe these are good. This is the cream bronzer. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sun-Kissed Glow Bronzer. Like 2022 was the year of making the longest names ever for all the products. Um. Mine gets a ton of love. I use an angled, very fluffy, dense brush for this. It is quite a big package. And I have the shade just medium, you know, to medium, the classic. So um, I have a little bit of this on today and I just used it more as like a contour with the other bronzer I'm about to mention. And it is so good. It just looks so airbrushed. And sometimes I forget to use this and I'll go back and use the other bronzer I'm talking about solely by itself. And then I'll pop this back in and I'm like, why did I ever stop using it? It's so beautiful. I just can't part with it for more than two to three days. If it's been more than two to three days, I'm like, I really have to get back in and love you because you need more love because you're amazing. Does anybody else talk? to their makeup products. It's like my therapist. And it blends in like a dream. Like obviously I didn't do a great job here, but when you have the perfect brush with it, oh, it is just. Along with this, which is not a shocker to literally anybody who ever watches my channel because I use it in like all the videos and I made a whole video about it too because I loved it so much. This is the Melt Ultra Matte Powder Bronzer, which really makes no sense because everyone knows I have such dry skin. But I really don't feel like the Ultra Matte is true. I do think there is a mattifying quality to it, which makes it look very smooth and blurring across the skin. But I don't think I've ever had a bad bronzer day ever when wearing this. this this is, there's something about this, I don't know what it is, that has made me surpass all my other bronzers, even the Charlotte Tilbury one that's my therapist, and go for this because I know it is a fail safe. It is a ride or die. It is going to look good every single time. I have it on now and it's just very easy to work with, super blendable, a gorgeous shade that does not leave me in any way, shape, or form orange. It's just, it blends in like a dream. It's soft as butter. It is my perfect bronzer in every single way. Melt, you killed it with this. Seriously, seriously still the best. I'm like, you can never have too much bronzer. Like, you can just not have too much bronzer. Like, look at that. It builds and layers in ways that other bronzers just don't. Oh, love it. All right, we're getting down to the wire. So within the next few products I talk about, I just literally narrowed it down to one product per category because they were that good. One, I know you guys are sick of hearing me talk about this. Benefit the Professional Super Setter Setting Spray, again, a really long name, is amazing. The mist on this is like satisfying. Okay, try it again. What? It is like magic. Oh, it feels so good across your face. It smells like heaven. And it really does have like a blurring kind of quality. You know how you get a setting spray sometimes and you spray it and it's like chunks of water all over your face that really ruin your makeup and you're trying to like quickly press it in so it's not like just only in sporadic places across your face but you want it to like get across your whole face and actually set it and refresh it, make it look dewy and fresh. That's what this does. That is what this does. Now I have been told in the comments, you know who you are, that uh, the larger size, because this is a little mini travel size, um, is actually better 
um, that the mister is better. And I really don't see how that is possible because this is the best mister of all time. Um, but I just keep buying these little mini ones because I love that they fit in my giant makeup bag here and I have no more room in my giant makeup bag. If you watch my Instagram, you know that. And so this, this just fits in really nicely and I'll just continue to keep buying the little mini ones because I love it so, so much. Okay, in the eye category, again, if you watch my Instagram, you already know. I'm obsessed with this mascara. It's currently what I'm wearing now. I don't have the longest eyelashes on the planet. I never have, I probably never will. And I think this actually makes it look like I have a lot of lashes. I love it, I love it so much. This is Ico's Limitless Mascara. I mean, upon a first glance and inspection, you'd be like, wow, just is like mascara, Jessica. But when you put it on, it is something else. Ico has just a way of making formulas that are so perfect. I hate, 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 hate a super wet formulation of mascara. It just, it ends up being a lot more clumpy. You get more like chunks together. They look like this instead of like this. You know what I mean? Do I? Do I? And this just really, I mean, the limitless length of it, like it says, is insane. It's unreal. This is in no way, shape, or form any representation of what my actual lashes look like. They're much shorter than this. This just gives it so much that I love, love it. I am not including an eyeshadow palette in because I feel like I would be dishonest. I have bought a couple eyeshadow palettes this year. Um, but I wouldn't want to come on here and be like, well, this is the best of 2022. When I'm showing you the products of 2022 that were phenomenal, that's what I want to show you. I don't want to just show you what the best of what came out was that's okay. Like, I want to show you something good. So for me, um, I'm not really thrilled and like so overjoyed and excited like I am with my therapist bronzer or anything. So I didn't want to show any eyeshadow palettes this time around. I'm still pretty comfortable with a lot of my old eyeshadow palettes. It's kind of what I already have in my eyes now. And I just, um, yeah, I don't have anything to add to the conversation in 2022 regarding eyeshadow palettes. 2023, change my mind. Come at me with some eyeshadow. So for my last two products, uh, in 2022, I was blown away by the Refi Lip Sculpt, which I have used in several videos. You guys already know, all me talking about it. This is the shade Rosewood. It's actually what I have on my lips now. I really, really love this shade. I think it's super, super natural, very easy to work with. Um, it's just a really good lip liner overall. It doesn't budge too much, and it's really easy to get in all the perfect lines of your face that you're looking for. And the best part is that when you twist it off on the other side, you get this a little velvet. I don't even know how to describe it. it. It's like a velvetizer to me. Makes your lips feel like velvet, but really what it is is it keeps this uh, lip liner color on forever and ever. So if you are looking to put like a seal across a color, this is gonna keep it on the whole day. I have also tested it out with lipsticks and it does in fact keep your lipstick on for a very, very long time. So killer product, I actually really like everything I've bought from Refi so far and I wanna try more products because both of the things that I have from them, I love. And finally, I figured we'd end 2022 on a more frugal note because money certainly didn't grow on my trees in 2022. This little puppy is super affordable and is a super big dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter ones and it literally looks like almost the exact same thing. I did a video with this in it as well and I still find this to be a phenomenal product that rivals the Charlotte Tilbury's almost exactly maybe slightly different tones of color but again same concept same idea and I saved this for last so I could put a little bit on my face and show you guys but um, even with the Charlotte Tilbury I don't ever apply the sponge directly to my face. I just take a little bit on my thumb and I just go in and lightly just tap it. Tap it in. Just tap it in. Give it a little tappy. And you see that? You see that? Ugh, it's like a wet, juicy, gorgeous glow. Look at that. Oh my gosh. There's no way to lose with this. It's so beautiful. I feel like there were a couple shades. I can't remember because I bought it a while ago, um, like at the beginning of 2022. But the shade I have is Gleam and I feel like it's worth every penny because it's like $11 or something, maybe even less than that, I can't remember. But I will link it down below. It is definitely worth it if you're in the market for one of these type of highlighters and you just like a wet, juicy glow or you like uh, Charlotte Tilbury products but don't want to spend the money. 
this is it. This is your jam. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Again, do all of the things that you know would really help me out for 2023 that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. And man, I just want to thank everybody for all of the love and support. This has been a really, really <laughs> tough year. Like, super, super tough. And I know I like to keep it light and fun and fresh and just like down to earth on my channel. So that's kind of what I'm telling you guys right now. It's been an extremely tough year. I know I haven't uploaded consistently. I know I haven't been the best about <laughs> being a consistent YouTuber or knowing all the stuff and linking all the right things. Um, but it's still been a really fun ride this year. If you've made it this far in the end, then you are a true viewer because all I do is talk, 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 and it's really annoying. And I could not have done it without any of you guys. I think of you um, so fondly, and I appreciate you more than you will ever know. And I love all of the comments, all of the DMs, all of the messages, and I, I, I just appreciate you guys so much. It's been one of the best parts about 2022 has been you guys, yeah. I think that's all I got for you guys today, possibly this year. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.